So information is key. I mean, it sounds like you track every single detail that could possibly affect the outcomes of these games and these teams. <clears throat> well, let me say this to you. First of all, I'm not a handicapper. Second of all, uh, every, every, every person that I'm associated with is smarter than me. Okay, but we have a team, I have a team of people that I work with, and yes, they track everything that there is possibly to track. Uh, it gets presented to me, I evaluate it, and I determine what I'm going to do. Uh, but yes, and we do our absolute best to stay on top of that, uh, be the first with the most, but sometimes we are, sometimes we aren't, but most of the times we are. So you can put all this computer, you know, all this information through your computers, comes through your analysts, and, but at the end of the day, it's not the computer that makes a decision, it's you that makes the decision. It, it, is, it is me that makes the decision after I've reviewed the recommendations from the people that I'm associated with, but there are certain things you can't quantify. I'll give you an example, the, a most recent example. Uh, the Minnesota Vikings, uh, they fired their coach, Brad Childers, and uh, they replaced him. Okay, uh, how much difference is that going to make to that team? Well, the computer's uh, not going to know that, and you might not well, as well. Well, there's no database for that because there's been situations similar to that to where you had a team that there was dissension where teams were underperforming, and uh, they fired a coach and put a new coach in and, and made no difference. They just, they, they just kept performing the way they were. And there, there have been situations where coach got fired, got replaced uh, by another coach. This was Brad Childress, it, Leslie Frazier. Well, in this situation here, I had a pretty good feeling it was going to make a huge difference to the Minnesota Vikings because those players hated that coach. Some of those players absolutely hated this man. And, uh, and they love Leslie Frazier. They were, and Minnesota was a, is and still, it was and still is a very talented football team. And had they made this move three weeks before that, they would have been in the playoffs. They would be in the playoffs this year, and they're going to miss the playoffs because the owner waited too late to do this. But I thought that it would probably make, you know, at least a touchdown difference about changing coaches. And you were right? Well, fortunately, I was right. Yeah, they came out and played with, uh, with passion like uh, you, you couldn't imagine. You, thought, you would have thought they were coming out and playing a playoff game because <laughs> they really wanted to play for Leslie Frazier. They really liked him. They, they wanted to see him succeed. Plus, a lot of the players, they were in an environment they just they weren't happy with. And, but, you know, a huge change in the line in the football game.